Hey, welcome to Toy Fishing. This is one of those videos I've been itching to do for a long time now. How strong is the haywire twist? In today's episode, I'll be covering the following topics. Number one, how many barrel wraps and how many twists in your haywire twist? Number two, two key techniques to maximize your haywire twist strength. Number three, how to do a haywire twist with really, really thin wire. Number four, the double haywire twist tested on two pieces of 218 pound wire, basically 436 pounds. And number five, the haywire twist tested in 58 pound, 124 pound, 174 pound, and 218 pound. That's 10 tests per category, and these are number six, number 10, number 12, number 14 wire sizes, respectively. I'll also tell you about our setup. And number seven, why you cannot use just barrel wraps for your wire connection. If you need any more details on the haywire twist, like how to tie a double haywire twist or where you can purchase our haywire twist tool, please just look at our knot section under loop knots on our website. You'll be able to find everything you need on there. So until now, we've done all our testing on a thousand Newton load cell, but we have now invested in a 5,000 Newton load cell, which allows us to break anything up to 1,124 pounds, which is insane. This will give us the ability to test almost everything fishing related, including haywire twists and crimping. Hope you guys got a brew this evening because it might be a little bit of a long one. So the age old question, how many wraps and how many twists? Based on 40 tests on four different wire strands, 58, 124, 174, and 218, you'll need to use a minimum of five full twists and five full barrel wraps. We tested every combination to get this amount. Let's look at two examples. This is an example of 218 pound haywire twist with four twists and four wraps. See how the haywire twist fails and actually unwraps as the load increases and then pulls loose completely. Now this is an example of five wraps and five twists in 218 pound wire. A nice clean break, no unwinding or major movement. This is exactly where the haywire twist breaks if you've tied it perfectly. Right, technique is critical with the haywire twist. Two areas are prone to failure if a haywire twist is tied incorrectly. The stainless steel wire requires lenient angles on entry into and out of the twisted wire par when tying a haywire twist. Ideally, the first bend needs to be less than 90 degrees and the exit angle of the wire after the twists and into the barrel wraps needs to be less than 90 degrees also. If you make either of these abrupt or change the wire direction quickly, the haywire twist will break here or here. This will result in weakness as the wire breaks prematurely. This is the correct technique at the front end, showing an acute angle into the first twist. This is the incorrect technique at the front end, showing the obtuse star angle. The haywire twist will break here, and you can see from this example, the wire actually cuts in on itself. Also, the angle into the wrap should be gradual and ensure that you don't force an immediate change in the direction. Tying a haywire twist on thin wire. I've not covered this before. If you ever tried to tie a haywire twist on thin wire, you would have noticed as the barrel wraps extended further away from the tool or the twist section extended a distance from the tool, you'll struggle with controlling the wire as it moves and it starts bending about. Right, so the toy haywire twist tool. I've designed this and it has an area to alleviate this problem. You remove it from the step section of the pliers and insert it down below right here. Then as the wraps or twists are increased, you just release the grip, push it further back and continue making your haywire twist. So how easy is that? So I get this question asked a lot. Why can't you just use barrel wraps for a single wire connection? Let me show you why. This is an example of a barrel wrap at the top and the bottom with 218 pound wire. I use 20 wraps on both the top and the bottom. Let's try and break this. Well, that is complete garbage. Barely achieving 80 pound strength. That is really going to be an issue for most anglers. 
I would strongly recommend not to use this idea or concept for single strand wire. Right, now for the setup, this is our tensile tester. It's capable of breaking anything up to 5,000 newtons. So this is our calibrated load cell, which is actually measures the data and passes the information to the PC. This is our work holding right over here. We have two adapters, top and bottom, which have a removable dowel to locate the haywire twist. You can notice here that for every haywire twist test, it actually has a haywire twist both at the top and the bottom so we get a really good average result. Okay, let's take a look at some testing results for each category. I'll do a single test just to show you the break and then show you the chart with all the results on. We'll also take a look at the summary at the end and get some overall results. Right, 58 pounds single strand stainless steel wire. Let's see how tough this thin stuff really is. Right, let's get breaking a haywire twist. Now, take a look at one socket. This is impressive. No slippage, a nice clean break at the rear end of the haywire twist. A break like this shows it was tied perfectly. Well, let's take a look at the results. 100% strength based on a comparison to the manufacturer's stated strength of 58 pounds. Great way to kick off the testing. All right, let's step it up a notch, 124 pound. Let's look at single sample test again. We should see either the upper or the lower haywire twist breaking at the bottom of the haywire twist. Once again, a perfect break with five twists and five barrel wraps. Another great result. Slightly stronger than the manufacturer's wire strength statement. Incredible, really, if you think about it. All right, let's ramp it up just a little bit more. 174 pound. Well, things definitely will now start getting loaded up nicely. Again, keep an eye on the upper and the lower haywire twist. Perfect again, another perfect break at the top. Let's take a look at the average on the calculation. Right, so dropping marginally 96%, again, that's really impressive. It shows how strong and how repeatable this connection really is. Truly, truly impressive. And finally, the big guns, 218 pound, that's number 14 single strand stainless steel wire. This should be interesting. This is roughly four times stronger than the first test we did. Let's take a look. Also keeping an eye on how the wire stretches out of tension. Now that is impressive, it really is. It certainly elongates the entire connection. Let's take a look at the chart, another great result. Roughly 6% down on the nominal wire strength. Look how consistent the results are again, remarkable. Right, the overall results, 97.9%. .9%. Well, to be fair, it's basically 100% connection. Amazing really, considering how much force was exerted on the thicker wire sizes. Let's finish with a double haywire twist, 218 pound. Let's take a look. Wow, truly impressive. Just in case you're wondering why even to use a double haywire twist. When catching agile sharks like black tips or spinner sharks, the leader end of your rig really gets a workout. So by stiffening up the steel wire, you have a rig now that can handle a lot of movement by the fish without kinking and getting all messed up in that. Tight lines, hope you enjoyed that. Apologies, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but just been so busy. It was so much fun getting these tested and I hope you enjoy improving your technique. And I hope you learned something tonight as well. Please like, please subscribe, check out our website. And if you're not too busy, maybe check out our fishing tools as well. I'd love the support. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for supporting Toy Fishing as always. Take care. And if you're joining us for any more videos tonight, grab a brew. Um, I think I had a coffee in there earlier, but uh, yeah, all good. And uh, got some new stuff coming out soon, which is pretty cool. Really excited about that. Hopefully going to launch in April-ish. Um, got four new products coming out. Some new different stuff in the market. Completely different, actually. Um, so that might be quite interesting. Hopefully it's received well. And I'm waffling again. Uh, crimping. Man, I put some 400 pound uh, moi moi uh, monofilament up with uh, two mil uh, ID uh, oval crimps aluminium on here the other day. Holy moly, impressive. Um, that was pretty cool. So that's gonna be coming up. Definitely gonna be testing a lot of crimping. That's gonna be something different. Um, some people asked me for the Davy knot, that's coming up. 
the FG knot, I want to do it. It's going to take me like two weeks to tie that thing, considering how many knots and breaks I do. But I will try and get it done this year. I mean, that would be awesome if I can. And, and I'm still waffling. Um, I think that is it. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, have a great evening. See you later. Similarly, similarly, similarly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and I'll, ne I'll never get that word right. <laughs> similar, <laughs> similar, 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 similar. A bit like the angle into the wraps. 